coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Around the world in 6.25 days. Zelensky vows to remake AN-225 Mariah. Important notice, not notum, from EAA AirVenture 2022. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Around the world in 6.25 days. Dassault flight test crews are making ready to embark on a grueling global proven campaign to ensure the company's Falcon 6X ultra-wide body business aircraft meets its ambitious performance and reliability goals. The one-month, 40-stop, 150-hour campaign is set to begin in June and is scheduled to comprise a number of long- and short-haul legs across Europe and between North and South America, Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. Flights of 10 to 12 hours will alternate with quick, short hops. Along the way, the aircraft will perform long night flights, high-speed long runs at Mach 0.88, and up to seven short flight segments per day. To date, three Falcon 6X test aircraft have accumulated more than 850 hours of flight time. The trio is presently being evaluated by EASA. Aircraft number four, the first production unit, is equipped with a full interior and is on display at eBase. Subject aircraft will take part in the proving tour. The Proving Campaign aircraft will carry a full crew of Dassault pilots, flight attendants, engineers, and interior specialists. This team will test 250 different evaluation points for purpose of ensuring the reliability of the aircraft and onboard systems in real-world operating conditions prior to initial customer deliveries. And after the break, avionics sales for quarter one 2022 rising, says AEA. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Avionics sales for quarter one 2022 rising, says AEA. AEA has published the industry results of the first quarter of 2022, reporting that more than $634 million worth of business and GA avionics were sold throughout the world. Overall, the numbers showed increased demand from years and months prior. Sales increased nearly 5% from the fourth quarter of 2021, marking off the seventh consecutive quarter to increase sales. An increase of 11.6% was seen in the first three months of the year over the same span in 2021, bringing in $634 million to an earlier $568 million. Lindbergh Foundation announces creation of Decarbonization Prize Group. The Lindbergh Foundation has announced a series of incentive prizes as a part of the upcoming 100-year anniversary of the legendary pilot's original groundbreaking flight. Opening up the European Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition in Geneva, Switzerland, the Foundation announced a collaborative incentive effort with the X Prize Foundation, the NBAA, and Prince Albert II of Monaco. The collective group, the Forever Flight Alliance, will look to quicken the transition to decarbonized aviation the same way the original transatlantic flight was made, through prize offerings. FAA revokes Rhodes Aviation Certificate The FAA has proposed the revocation of Honolulu-based Rhodes Aviation Incorporated's Air Carrier Certificate, citing, quote, numerous alleged safety violations. 
The agency alleged that Rhodes had failed to conduct itself with the appropriate level of professionalism from lapses in record-keeping, airworthiness, and operations. Rhodes Aviation Inc. appears to be the operator of the Hawaiian cargo line Transair, as well as Transair Global. The outfit gained some attention in 2021 when one of their 737-200s experienced an engine failure and ditched in the sea south of Oahu. Sporties introduces 172 Cessna Skyhawk model. Cessna Skyhawk fans have some good news from Sporties after the introduction of their 172 model. Sporties has announced the return of their 1-72 scale Skyhawk modeled on the school's aircraft. The die-cast replica contains detailed, printed graphics, realistic landing gear, clear, non-distorting glass, or at least as good as it can get at this size, and a rotating prop. The model measures 4 inches long with a 6-inch wingspan, a fine size for a desk toy or example aircraft. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Zelensky vows to remake AN-225 Mariah. The largest aircraft in the world, recently destroyed, may be returning sooner than originally expected if off-the-cuff remarks made by the Ukrainian head of state are any indication. For a brief time, it appeared that the legendary AN-225 could be built at a discount, as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky made mention of an $800 million price tag for the aircraft's successor. Those who remember the vow made by Ukrainian aerospace corporation Yukoborprom in February would recall a much higher price tag at the time, $3 billion to start. Anyone familiar with bespoke aircraft design and development know that the initial stated price is often just the beginning. In a digital meeting with students, Zelensky made mention of an attempt some time ago to obtain funding for a successor to the Maria, approaching the Turkish aerospace industry for assistance. During the Battle of Hostomol Airport, the last remaining AN-225, immobilized in its hangar while undergoing maintenance, was destroyed. The aircraft was the only functional Mariah in existence, the sole inheritor of the old Soviet space program. The aircraft appears to be unrecoverable to any meaningful extent, taking damage and sitting under a broken ceiling for months of fighting. And after these messages, important notice, not notum, from EAA AirVenture 2022. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Important notice, not notum, from EAA AirVenture 2022. The official FAA AirVenture notice is now available and is, of course, required reading. And about that required reading, because of a changed FAA internal procedure, there is no longer a notum for Oshkosh. The document is now called a notice. Of particular importance, two VORs have been decommissioned, RFD and MBL. Several IFR routings have been changed, and aircraft camping no longer allowed at KATW. There are other changes, and it is highly recommended that pilots flying to Oshkosh familiarize themselves and thoroughly understand the 2022 AirVenture Notice. The aforementioned notice is in effect from 12 o'clock noon CDT on July 21st until 6 a.m. CDT on August 1st. That is four days before AirVenture, so early birds like vendors, exhibitors, and general attendees, consider yourself warned that at 12 o'clock noon CDT on the Thursday prior to AirVenture, these new notice items are in effect. 
As you're aware, some changes are not completed overnight, and as you see, read, or hear references to NOTAM in the AirVention material, substitute notice and heed accordingly. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.